here comes your favorite part, word problems, and not little word problems, like big word problems. Okay, so we have the second video for geometric series, and I just want to recall uh, the geometric series formula, so it's right there for you. Uh, and let's just get into it. We're going to go over two questions. So the first one is, I'm just going to extend that a bit. The first four diagrams in a pattern are shown. Each shape is made from small squares of area one centimeter squared. Find the total area of the first nine diagrams in the pattern. So then here are the term numbers, or I guess the diagram numbers, and they don't want the ninth one, they actually want the sum total of all nine. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're just going to count how many squares or the total um, area of each of the diagrams first, and those will give you your term values. Okay, so we have four squares here, for the, so this one's four centimeters squared, and then eight and 16 and 32. Now it looks like the red numbers are going up by twos, so we're multiplying by two each time. That means that that must be my r. And if I didn't know, I would just take my second term divided by my first term. Your a value is your first term value, which is four. And then they told you that they wanted the first nine. So you know your n. You're gonna take these three values and put them into the formula. So the sum of the first nine terms is gonna be your a times r to the power of n minus one all over r minus 1. Now what you're going to do is just solve using bed mass. Exponents first, and that's how you get the 512. Then you're going to do brackets before you multiply. Okay, so I get 511 times a 4 is 2044. Now I had subtracted these guys before and that's a 1, so it's really not going to affect the answer. That means that if I add up all of the squares for the first nine terms, or the nine diagrams, I'm going to get 2044 centimeters squared, and I want to make sure that I put that in a therefore statement. The next question is, the size of a large square are 16 centimeters, so I have this large square right here, and I labeled them with the 16 right here and right here. The midpoints of each of the sides are joined to form a new square, so here's a midpoint midpoint and midpoint and so on and they're going to make a square so I wrote down that this is going to be 8 and this is going to be 8. Now we're going to keep doing that. Here are the midpoints of the next square and then the next one and I'm having a little bit too much fun with this but it looks really cool. I mean it's it's like a, a squarish rose. Anyways okay so find the sum of the areas of all the squares. So here's the area of the first square, that's 16 squared, 256, so that's the first term value. Then the next square, that's this guy right here, well I wasn't really given um, this side, so I could always find that using Pythagorean theorem since it's, I mean it is a square, that means this must be a right angle triangle. So what I did was I just um, did Pythagorean theorem, but I don't need just the x because I'm going to find the area. So I mean if x is going to multiply x, I'm going to get x squared anyway. So forget square rooting everything, just keep it as a square and you know that the next square is going to have the area of 128. That's this guy right here. Okay, and then you're going to keep doing that. Um, I didn't in this video, but I just want to give you a little bit of a note that on a test or some sort of an assessment, you want to make sure that you do at least three term values um, in order to make sure that it's actually geometric. I mean, this could very much be an arithmetic, you don't know. So it would be good then to find another area. But I got lazy. So let's continue. Um, I'm having a little bit too much fun with this after school. Okay, so a equals to 256, um, your r is whatever the second one is divided by the first one, okay, so that's a half, so it looks like it's multiplying a half each time, or it's half as big, okay, and then they said they wanted um, all the squares, and how many squares are there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, okay, so your n is seven. And then we're just going to plug them all into the formula. And again, solving with bed mass, you get 508. 
So the sum of all the squares in this diagram are 508 centimeters squared.